Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% guide for Vanaheim from God of War Ragnarok. In this one we are doing the sinkholes which is part of the greater the crater area. I should have used a different word there. Uh, I'm doing this after the story. I advise you do this these this whole area the crater um, after the story for clean up reasons because there are some harder fights here. Um, you're going to need to be quite high level to get 100% here. Now if you don't know how to get to the crater then please watch my uh, Western Barry Woods video first, uh, that you can find that in the description in my um, playlist. <laughs> and then before doing this particular one, the sinkholes, you'll want to do the jungle area within the crater first, so you get the river running. Okay, right, we are starting off at the bottom of the plains. This is the first gateway you will get to when you get to the crater itself. And then there are three areas that branch off. There's the jungle, which you do first, so you can get the water running. There's the sinkholes, and then there is the plains. I'm going to do the sinkholes uh, now before doing the plains, because you do have to go into the sinkhole to do part of the plains later anyway, so it makes more sense to do this one first. Right, so we're going to be doing a Nornir chest first. We've got a couple of Nornir. There's Law, there's a Stag, which I'll tell you what to do with that. There's a couple of Dragon Fights, there's an Artifact, a Berserker Gravestone, there's a Flower, there's Odin's Raven. There's all sort there. You can see it all listed up. I can bring the map up now that we're there. So this is where we are in the sinkholes. We've gone down the zip line. Watch out for the flowers around here. There's a couple of them. There is an encounter. If you go to the right, you will encounter a Huntress. She encounters you in a few different places. It's not needed for the 100%, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, she will, You will see her in one part of this video, but I'll probably make a separate video about her entirely. So, first, come up here. And then you're going to need your purple arrows. And you're going to need to shoot this first Nornia uh, lamp rune, whatever you want to call it. So you're going to have to connect them together, chain them together, and you're going to hit that one up there, and then the last two are down here. Can't get down. There we go. Bit easier, these two. I could probably just use the one to light that one. I could probably reach that one. There we go. There's that one, and then when you go down here, you're going to have a little rumble. It's going to happen. Um, that's going to let you know one of the dragons is around. And then a favor is going to start. So don't worry about that. It's just it will happen. It happens automatically. And it's just one of the dragon hunts that we have to do, and we will be doing. And here's the final Nornir thing. So get that out of the way. There we go, Quaking Hollow. So that automatically starts when you get here. And then open this up. I'm getting an apple. You could get the other, the horn. <laughs> yep. So there we go, first thing ticked off. This area is a bit quicker, a bit more compact than the previous if you're following these in order. Plus we don't have to get the water running, which was a big part of the other one. So next we're going to go up here and into the open. And this is what I would say is the sinkhole. It's the main area of the sinkhole because there is a, uh, a gateway at the bottom corner. First there's going to be a bunch of enemies here. You're going to need to hit, you can see the green... Um, I don't know what you'd call that pole <laughs> that poisons you. Uh, they can activate uh, the other one at the other end as well, so watch out. You've got the regular enemies in here, and then there's one of those uh, horrible witch things as well. So a Viken. I didn't know they were called Vikings. Viken. Viken? Viken. Yeah, so this one is activated. I need to get out of here, really. There we go. She's backed away now. It does strengthen them, so you need to get them away. Where's she gone? I hate these things. I know use the arrows to uh, to stop them. Usually I'd leave a fight like this out. I'd cut it out. But it was... Because uh, it's a bit more of an annoying one. You can use that tree in the middle. It's quite good as well. Right. Revenant. Like Doom. Okay. So this is what we're after. We're after the law here. And that's the only law in this area, which is quite odd considering how big this is this area is compared to other places next we're going to run around here we're going to get this gateway and then the seasonal stag is going to be right here as well if this is the first seasonal stag that you are encountering you will need to go back to Sindri's house first so encounter the deer interact with it or whatever 
and then you'll get told to go back to Sindri's house, do that, then speak to Ratatoska, the squirrel, get some feed, and then come back and you'll be able to uh, interact with the stags themselves. So what you need to do is just give them the feed and then they go through uh, a teleport, a rift, and off they go, and that's that complete. Simple. That was autumn, I think, that one. See where we are on the map. So next we're just going to go. It's quite linear, really. It seems quite open, but it's actually not. You, you have to go this through this place in a linear fashion. Watch out for that thing. Break this wall down. And then we're going to be starting a casualty of war soon. But first, we have a dragon fight. This is part of a dragon fight. Again, it's a linear kind of section, so you have to do this. So quickly kill the two guys. Um, I'm not sure why the, he is there. I couldn't see him. I thought he was from the other side. I wasn't paying attention where that poison came from. In my practice, I'm sure he spawned over here. Nope, he's behind you. There we go. Well done, dumbass. So get rid of the two enemies kind of quickly, quicker than I'm doing it I suppose, and then look for the dragon and then you have to dodge its fire attack and then hit the wall underneath it with a, uh, a spear a detonate it and that's going to make it fly onto the one on the opposite side, this is why the, I'm sure the enemy was over here on the opposite side to slow you down here, and then same again just throw, detonate get rid of the, uh, the dragon and that's it that's going to start the uh, the favour off of the Burning Skies, which is the second dragon hunt. Now, the reason we did the jungle first is you can see there's a river running through this place. If you don't do the jungle first, then that river will not be there at all, and you won't be able to travel down it later, which we will be doing. Uh, it will be completely empty. So that's why you do the jungle first, because yeah, it opens everything up. Gives the whole area life again. So we're nearly at the casualty of war now, it's just around this corner. So burn these vines and then throw the axe into the uh, the poison there. And then it's round here. So this one we can actually complete if you have done the jungle. There is one that we picked up that's part of the planes. The hourglass is done within the sinkholes. So I'm just going to skip the dialogue, but pick the item up, listen to him go on with himself. And you've got the hourglass. That's going to start. We'll fin finish that right near the end, actually. The other second part to that. But next we're going to have a dragon fight. So run over here, throw this at the first one. Because there's two guys over there. Because you, you can't get across to them initially. You're going to have to uh, burn some vines away. So just kill these two from afar. And then you've got the vines up here. Same as usual. Burn them away. And then we can swing across. Don't know what I saw there. Hacks over. Not needed for the 100%, but there you go. A bit of crafting there. One of Odin's offerings. Again, with the crystals, if you don't know about those, those come into play in the plains in the next area. Um, yeah, so grab those if you see them, because you can make offerings and get some good stuff later on. It's not essential, but it's um, worth grabbing and doing. So we're going to go through here, and this is going to be the Dragon Hunt fight, the Quaking Hollow. It's a drake, so it's one of the ones that doesn't fly. It's the big I don't know, rhino looking thing, I don't know what you'd say. Doesn't really look like a dragon to me. But I guess maybe that's what they originally looked like. I'm stuck on this bone here for some reason. <laughs> looks more like a dinosaur. Triceratops or something. So try and hit its legs with the spear and then you can uh, disable it for a good Three hits, a few free hits, can't get an aim on it. If you are struggling like me, <laughs> then you can use your slowdown if you use that um, if you are using that rune, that relic. Let's set this one on fire. Doesn't like the fire. 
Oh no. He, you know he didn't get me. Got it just in time. Hits it with everything. It does seem to be weakest to fire, it would appear. So I should probably switch back to the blades. Oh, that did quite a lot of damage. Just go at it. <laughs> uh, I'm on the easiest difficulty, so I, I can do that. I'm just trying to get through this for the second time. And that's, uh, yeah, he's doing a trip. He usually just does that the once, but we're going for three in a row here. And there we go. I'm a bit disappointed that there's no animation for executing, however you'd say it, these uh, dragons. There are for every other one, for the other two types. Must have been a, a late minute addition. Just waiting for the Quaking Hollow favour. There we go, that's going to finish now. So that's Dragon Hunt 1 of 2 done. That was the one that was obviously Quaking Hollow's uh, making all the noise. Now we just need to venture up here for a moment because there is an artifact up here, one of Kavasir's poems. But this is actually leads to the plains. So when I was said at the beginning that going through here leads to the part of the plains, this is what I was talking about. So you've got some more crystals there, and then if you come up these stairs, you've got an artifact. And uh, again, PlayStation reference these artifacts. And this one is extremely obvious. So that's uh, 13 and 14 for me. So this is where we are. The rest of this now leads to the plains. So if you look to the left here and go up there and all that, that all leads to the plains and the place where you offer the crystals. But it's not part of the sinkhole, so I'm not doing it in this bit. We'll come back here in the next video, the plains video, and do all that. There's uh, plenty to see and do. But it's uh, it's opened up for now. So we're going to uh, basically go back on ourselves and go up river now. A little bit more hacks over here. You just can't ignore them, can you? Even though you really don't need it. I have nearly half a million hack silver at this point, <laughs> and I don't use it for anything. So you should recognize where we are. We're back where the boat is, uh, where the gateway is. And now we can uh, go in the river, up river. So turn right, left is blocked off at this point. We'll be leaving or leaving the area that way. Coming back this way. So along the way here, we're going to get a dew drop. This is going to come in handy. I think this one was defense, which um, is going to come in handy because we are about to do a berserker fight. Permanently increased by two. See, there's our, our final dragon up there. We'll get to you, don't worry. So come around here and dock. And there's quite a lot up here. There's another gateway. There is a... I forget the name of it. Shrine. The To change the time of day. It's going to come up in a moment. There we go. Celestial Altar. Change the time of day. But what we're going to do first is run down here and get the Nine Realms in bloom for this realm. Uh, which is star blush star blush just four more of those to go and just before we go back we're just going to hop over here and get a coffin not needed for 100% but you've got to get them as guardian ingot I don't need them anymore. I was looking at those, looking for those for ages, but I don't need them anymore. And then we go around here. You got a little bit of hacks over here, and then you can see the gravestone in the middle. Off to the right, we've got a coffin, and then off to the left, it's just activated, is a mystic gateway, so we can teleport from here or back here if you want to. If you're struggling with this uh, 
fighter about to do the Berserker Gravestone, then obviously you can just teleport back and do it later. There you go. Uh, not too bad, this one. He has It's a poison-based one. It has a tendency to do quite a nasty AoE attack that's really hard to get out of the way of. But uh, as with all these Berserkers, if there's just one-on-one, -on -one, then uh, just try and go for it. That's also another annoying tendency he has, is to change his... Uh, or put a shield up. Obviously, you're going to have to switch. If it's fire, go for your axe. If it's ice, then go for the blades. And if it's stone, then go for the spear. Yeah, this one here. It's quite hard to get out the way. It's quite a big AoE, that one. You can disrupt him if you have a runic attack or something like that. Uh, arrows aren't going to cut it, though. So he likes to jump up. Do the slam, the normal slam type things. And he's, he's quite melee focused, apart from... The AoE that he does, he will chase you down and try and do uh, heavy slam combos on you, this sort of thing. And his big old uh, hammer. Yeah, he just keeps coming. I don't know how that, I don't know if that hit me or not then, I'm not sure. I'm trying to break his, uh, his poise, there he goes. I call it poise, I'm not sure what it is. Stun bar. Yeah, it's quite hard. He's just about to do it again. If you do have a runic attack, it will stop it. Or use your rage or something like that. But it is quite hard to dodge out of the way of. Yeah, I beat him, <laughs> beat him on that one. <laughs> Not giving him... Don't give him an inch. That's the best thing to do with the... Oh, that's annoying. Right at the end there, where he's about to get all of his health down. Nope, he's had enough now. <laughs> Raining down. No, you're not doing that again. Are we done here? I think we're done here. Okay. If you are struggling with any of these fights, obviously you can go and get one of the uh, resurrection stones as well. That's going to help. But like I said, it's it's a later area. So some of them can be quite difficult when you uh, first get here. And you will get a Chaos Flame as well, so you can upgrade the Blades of Chaos a little bit more. And there we go, that's him done. So we're ready to leave this area and head towards the final fight, which is the Dragon. And that is um, down here. Another Crystal here. Nope, just the one, unless it's dropped through the floor. Before we can carry on, we need to come around here and open this up. Nope, I thought it had gotten all the way down, but uh, no, it hadn't. It's annoying. There, okay. You can see what we've come over here for is just open it up so we can carry on and then get this crystal. But you can see there's a, a heart on the left wall. That's part of a side quest or a favour in Midgard. So we will be coming back here in Midgard to finish that off when I'm doing the Midgard videos. That's why that one's last, because you have to open up all these areas to get to it. And down river we go. Again, it's all very linear, this. You know, you have to do this certain section before you can get to that certain section, and yeah, it all uh, fits together nicely, I suppose. So there's going to be a dragon that's going to be not hunting you down, but he will be using a fire breath attack, potentially. Uh, you can get him to sort of go away. There's a gate just there on the left. Where is he? Uh, that's enough time to do what I'm doing. There's a gate on the left. If he's right on top of you, open that gate, and he seems to fly away for a minute, which will give you a minute. Now there's an Odin's Raven that you do need the spear to uh, to do here. So I'm just going to pull this gate so, that's what we're, so we can leave. There we go, he's there, he's not fine, it's fine. But just in the distance there on there, you can just make it out, there's a Raven. There he is. So yeah, you'll have to uh, shoot that from here using the spear. So this is where we are now. So we've got the Nornir chest, the Dragon Hunt and uh, the Casualty of War now. And that's it. 
and it's all again through this linear area. You have to go through here to get to the dragon. The dragon's going to be the end of this tunnel, breathing fire down. So make a run for the left hand side here. Use your axe as well because it's uh, Draugr's. Just one there, and then quickly run. And there's going to be two in here. If you're quick enough, you can bunch them together. Okay, now it's spear time again. So one, two, don't detonate yet. Run back to the first one. And then three. And then detonate. Another one will come out, another droga will come out. Wait for him to come to you. We haven't had the dragon breathe fire at all. I think it might do it as I'm about to run past now. Maybe? I'm not sure. There's a few Draugr here, but yeah, he will be breathing fire down there, so you'll have to do a little, uh, a lot of running to the gaps. Don't leave yourself out in the open. Just a couple more. No, took a fireball to the face. Okay, when those two, once those two are done, you're going to jump up here, a bit dark, and then try and make, there, there he is, <laughs> try and make a run for the left wall, chances are you won't be able to, and then spear, blow, blow it, and then uh, we are done, that's the dragon, you're safe now, it's going to fly away, and this is the casualty of war, the hourglass that will not appear until you do all this, obviously until you break the wall down, but uh, I'm going to skip the dialogue, and that will be the hourglass complete. That casualty war of war is now done. So just the Nornade chest and the dragon left. And they are just up here. Uh, now we will be encountering the Huntress here. She will always appear here. There are a few set places where she appears. So she's not difficult. It's the same as very early in the game. The um, I forget what the the mythical name is for these. Not centaur, is it? Is it a centaur? Anyway, horse legs, human body. You're not going to be killing her. You're going to be taking about uh, a, a quarter of her health down. So just you know, hit her with everything. And then um, she's going to disappear. It's when you get her stagger bar up to full, which obviously you can't see in this, but it's it's there. Just use the green arrows to build it up quicker. There you go. Once to a certain point, she'll disappear, and that will be it. And the idea is that you weaken her through the encounters that you have, and then eventually she'll be in the jungle, and then you can finish her off there. So non HS time, one spear there, one spear up here. Don't detonate these in between, obviously. And then one over here. And then detonate all at once. Now if there's a, is a, there is a pier off to the right, you can kick the chains down. It's the way we'll be leaving, but if you do need to leave at this point, if the dragon's too strong for you or whatever, then obviously you'll have to leave and come back. Non in, a, non in a chest, two of two. Just the dragon left. This is obviously this is the fire-based dragon, so the axe is going to be the weapon of choice, along with the spear, actually, because we do need to break it some walls down again. So at first you'll be fighting it. It's just going to come flying down. And then, uh, yeah, give it with the old runics. I was trying to do <laughs> R2 there, but it's not ready. Because, of course, I used it on the Huntress. Yeah, and then quite quickly it'll fly away. And then some Draugr will appear. So it's, it's quite... It doesn't attack too much. It's going to land up over there and uh, do fire attacks while you're fighting. 
So if you can use an R3 attack, it's best to do... Ah, the timing wasn't great on that. Because you will get the invincibility. If you're worried about taking damage. And then you're going to need the spear. And then on this side of the wall, throw it, break it. And into part two of the fight. So now I have both runic attacks this time. I really need to change that one. I do keep forgetting. And then when he's had enough, he's going to fly off again. Same again, but this time we've got the left-hand side. And then there will be one of those little wyverns will appear as well. No, it's not appearing. It's definitely appearing. Here it comes. There it is. We'll use uh, the blades on this because I don't need them for the other dragon. Get down. Okay. Now the final thing we need to do is shoot this side. And then finish this little boy off. Ooh, the rage did a lot that time. <laughs> okay, simple enough for this one. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's 100% of this area done. Once you've got this dragon, that will be all ticked off now. So if you are following along in the order, then we just have the planes to do. But the uh, planes is twice the size of this area. There's so much to do in the planes. <laughs> uh, and, of course, we've got to come back through here to get to the other uh, bit that we skipped before. But uh, yeah, New York Burning Skies, everything's ticked off there. Now I'm just going to show you the way out for anybody who thinks they might get lost, so we'll do that quickly, but for everybody else, um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> so I'm going to climb back down. And then this is the chair of, uh, chain I was mentioning before. Leads back to the boat. The boat is facing completely the wrong way. Why have they faced it that way? I don't know. I'm going to spin around in a circle. This is <laughs> there is a reason for this. There's some sparkly water here, so I wanted the resource. There we go, luminous alloy. I don't know if I'll ever use that. Probably not. But go through this cave, and then it will be quite obvious where we are. We'll be back at the gateway, and then you can obviously teleport and go wherever you want from there. So dock on the left side and you're done. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.